come back because I need you guys to see that this thing <laughs> isn't as finicky as it appeared. All right, so of course, as soon as I got off Facebook Live, it printed just fine. So we're gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna do start to finish without all my blabbing about the cons and the pros and the cons and all that. Okay, so we're just gonna, we, I got it in the software and we're gonna print, okay? All right, so paper, two-step paper. This is part A, rougher side. It's kind of hard to tell, but the rougher side down, okay? And I'm going to simply press print. Now, look, while you aren't looking, one, two, three. They all printed just fine. It's when you're on Facebook Live that it doesn't want to cooperate with me. Okay? But here, that's actually the beauty of this, is that you can just print these transfers, and then if you are, you know, a small business and you just want to stock a certain amount that you have, you could either, if you are buying art that has the, that you have the ability to sell the transfer, you could do that and then just ship it to somebody and they can apply it themselves, or you can just keep certain designs in stock. Now, while this is printing, I am gonna heat up the bottom platen of my heat press because remember we need to, this, the bottom platen to be warm, okay? So, this is in the process of printing, I promise. I just clicked print and now it's gonna print and hopefully it doesn't give me the error because I literally was like, okay, let's try this again. And as soon as I got off the first Facebook Live, it printed totally fine three times. So hopefully this will work. Here it goes, it's working. And we're gonna do start to finish. So after this prints, then I need to put it on my heat press and apply the B step. You guys know what the B step is now, right? The B step is the part where um, this is the adhesive sheet, okay? So the adhesive sheet is needs to be pressed, married, onto this transfer sheet. So those of you who did not see the original Facebook Live like that started like 45 minutes ago, um, we are working with the uh, two-step paper on the Uninet um, iColor 560. It's a white toner printer and I, all the information, I put links up top, the link to the printer and a link to an unboxing setup beginner tutorial um, in this Facebook Live. It's all up top. And if you want to go back and watch the First Facebook Live that I did today, um, I talked about all of the um, pros and cons of this printer, where it might fit into your small business. It's not a hobby craft printer, okay? It's a, I was a hobby crafter and now my business has expanded and exploded and I need something more. Oh, amen. Okay, printed the white, do you see? I picked this design specifically because it had white, okay? So there's that. Now we do this next part where I bring you to my heat press, okay? The bottom part has been warmed up, which is very important. You need that bottom um, platen warm. You're gonna take that transfer that we just took off of here and we're gonna place that directly on our heat press. We're gonna take the B sheet, it's A and B. This goes directly on top, okay? And then we take our piece of craft paper, brown craft paper, which if you get, um, if you get the bundle, 120 seconds. This is important, medium pressure. Um, if you get the bundle, the 560 bundle, which I linked to up top, it includes, this is the weirdest thing. The printer itself is the same price as if you get the printer with the bundle. So, uh, with the print with the bundle you would get the a and the b sheet that just starts now here's the thing it can do dozens of different types of papers and stuff but this is the one that we're starting with this is textile transfer um this is standard someone was asking is this standard or select this is standard okay so you get the two different sheets and you need the two different sheets now, other questions that I got in the meantime, other comments that I'll answer while we're waiting, what else can this thing do? It can do sublimation. You would just need to, to swap out the toner cartridges. The, unlike ink, because it's toner, which is powder, it doesn't dry up. There's no maintenance. You don't need to like, you know, swoosh out the lines. What's it called? Um, swoosh is definitely the word. Um, and, um, 
What else can it do? You can put, uh, there's fluorescent inks you can put in there. You can use it as a laser printer. You can print black just as a regular on copy paper. Um, there, so there's a lot of different things. It's basically a five in one printer. Um, but I will tell you that the ink cart, the toner cartridges are not cheap, but this printer can do a lot of stuff. Um, the yield on the cartridges is way, way, way beyond any other printer you have. I can pretty much guarantee you that it yields about 7,000 sheets for um, the car each cartridge. Okay, so 7,000 times you're going to print. I don't know. That's a full sheet. So you're going to have it for a while. So it's not like you're going to be routinely um, changing out your cartridges. Okay. All right. So we're going to put this is the same shirt that I have. I just cut off the neckline. Um, and so we're going to do the same thing here. All right, once this, okay, so 120 seconds, and then we need to work pretty quickly. We need to, I'm just gonna use my actual shirt. Um, cool it down about five seconds, okay? And then you're gonna peel the A and the B apart in a diagonal motion, and what's happening is the ink excuse me, the adhesive, can you see, has been removed in the exact spots where there's toner on here. So now I have my completed transfer. It has the toner and then I put the adhesive on the back. So now I'm ready to apply this to my shirt, okay? So shirt on here. You can trim this down if you want, which is what I did the original time. I'm not even going to do it this time. All right, I'm just going to place that on there. Again, brown paper, 310 degrees because this is cotton, so we're, we don't need to adjust the temperature. I do only need 20 seconds, though, so I'm just going to watch this. Excuse me, 30 seconds. So I'm just going to watch this timer instead of readjusting the timer. We need to get it on to 90 seconds. Once that's done, we're going to remove it, and then it's cold peel. Okay, so you're gonna remove it cold. You have to wait until it cools down. Um, you can use, you know, another piece of fabric or something to help cool it more quickly. And then you have to do one last press. And the reason that you need to do that last press is because this is gonna come off super shiny and like a high sheen. You're not, it's gonna look like a sticker. You don't want that. At least I don't want that. Um, so we're gonna, we would press it one more time and that would get rid of that sheen, okay? Those of you just joining, we finally got it to print and cooperate Facebook on Facebook Live. Okay, so now I'm going to pull it down here. I'll, I'll adjust the camera so you can see. Okay, so I'm just going to use the shirt itself here. Um, cool, 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 cool. All right, so when it comes out of the printer, it's not quite ready to go on the shirt. It doesn't have the adhesive. The, the printer is not printing adhesive. The printer... Is printing that tone or the colors on there okay and in this case it prints white I don't know if you can see that but the eyes have white okay so that's the biggest advantage of this printer now why not just you use HTV if you are a hobby crafter you certainly can use HTV the problem that you will run into at volume or if you don't have a whole bunch of colors is you've got a bunch of colors in this design and you'd have to cut and weed all of them and then layer them. So you saw how quickly I did this, okay? And now you're just peeling this away, okay? Now, I don't think you can probably see how shiny, maybe you can, can you see how shiny that is, okay? You can probably see the reflection a little bit. So now, I'm gonna put this back on my heat press. A swing away heat press is great for this because it comes straight down and you get really even, nice, even um, fast pressure okay and then we're going to cover it one last time and again i'm going to do this for about 20 seconds and i'll just watch it um and then that will be done okay so that that one will be done so again you certainly could use that design you certainly could use on hgv where's the one that i did earlier i don't know what i did with it but um, if you needed to do high volume, you could do that. If you're doing them smaller, like this one, you can put more than one um, on, a, on a sheet. So you're doing multiple at, a, at the same time. 
Okay, it just kind of depends what size you need. So I did my final press and now here we go. Okay, so now it's not shiny at all. All right, you wanna wait at least, I'm gonna pull you down here. You wanna wait at least 48 hours. Can you see? For this, um, it's dry obviously, but you wanna wait for 48 hours for this to fully cure and then you can wash it and I would wash it inside out and dry it inside out and, and don't dry it, just line dry it. Now, this design, original design had black in the eyes. I did what's called knock out black, knock me out black in the software that you need for this um, printer and that just removed the black. So this black that you're seeing in the eyes is the sweatshirt itself, okay? That is not part of the print. And that's one of the things that you wanna try to take advantage of so that you don't have large, um, as large, you don't, you're not, first of all, you're not using as much toner. And secondly, you're not having as many large areas um, of solid um, transfer. It, the toner is basically like print, like plastic. Okay, so you're at, if you're asking how does it feel, it feels a combination of HTV and screen print. It's very, very thin. It's not going to peel, but it's, it's not sublimation where it's infused into the design. Okay, this is an actual transfer. Okay, all right, so we'll give that one to Olivia, and I'm sure she'll like that. Um, all right, now, who I'm so glad I feel like I redeemed myself. Yay! Um, but beautiful colors and obviously would not be able to be done with sublimation or if you did, you would have to sublimate onto glitter white or you would have to use um, something like Easy, uh, Easy Subly, which is uh, a print and cut material for darks, okay? All right, you guys, I, this shirt that I did, that I'm wearing, woo, is also um, with the white toner printer. So it doesn't, doesn't have to use white, but that's the biggest advantage. Of course, this could be done with HTV. Um, but it would require, you know, obviously the cutting and the printing, but you can use your same designs, which is why um, I love this for specifically for designs that have lots of different colors. Okay. All right, you guys, I will, um, I will go back and answer all the other printer questions again. If you're asking what printer, the link, the direct link is right up top. Um, a link to the printer itself and a link to um, a tutorial that I just put on the blog today unboxing, setup, and getting started. All right? All right, guys, I'll see ya.